All right, we are opening up to the next clean page in our math notebook, and we are titling today's notes 3.5 Multiply Multi Digit Numbers, and we are putting today's date of 9 17 19 or excuse me, 20, in the top right corner. And remember, if you want to put your name on your notes, you can. You can just put it up above the title or the date. Put a thumbs up on your desk when you have the title done. So we're getting the title at the top of our notes. All right. And you guys, just like yesterday, we're going to be getting right into practice. So right underneath, I made practice really big. You can just make, take up one line if you want to. Point for him to go to the other door, Will. Or just point for him to go to the other door. Yep. Nope, we have people out in the hallway. For security reasons. All right. Now, I know that Addie's grabbing stuff out of her locker, so Allison, could she copy the title off of your notes if we scroll down? Okay. So, we got our section, the section of our notes titled Practice. And just like usual, we are going to write down the problems first before we solve them. So, we have two big ones first. And I left a lot of space underneath them. So, these are two that we will be doing together. And then we'll have a few more on the bottom. So, 365 times 49. And notice I left some room above them as well so that I can carry numbers if I need to. And then 647 times 254. And Addie, you can copy off Allison's title if you need to. We have 365 times 49, and notice that I lined them up. I made sure they were in their pla their places, and then 647 times 254. And I left a lot. I'm going to be leaving a lot of space below them to do my work, and I left a line above so that I can carry numbers if I need to up here. All right, so these are two that we'll do together, and then we have three that you will be doing on your own. So I skipped, let's see, I skipped one, two, three, four, five, six lines. That's how many lines I skipped. So number one is 134 times 11. I put the number with the most digits on top like we're supposed to, and I lined up 11 underneath. Number two is 1,206 times 77. Again, I put the number with the most digits on top and lined up 77 underneath. And number three is 650 times 22. I put 650 on top and I lined up 22 underneath. Go ahead and put a thumbs up on your desk when you have your title or your heading and all the practice problems written down, but you have not solved them yet.
So I know up there it's a little fuzzy. Number one is 134 times 11. Number two is 1,206 times 77. And number three is 650 times 22. Let's see a few people, bless you. Let's see a few people finishing up the last problem on their notes. Okay. All right. We're going to take a look at our two problems up here that we're going to do together. So these two are very similar to what we were doing yesterday, right? With a three digit number and a two digit number. Yeah. So we should, this should seem fairly familiar to us. What is my first step? Who can raise their hand and tell me what's the first thing that I'm doing here? What's the first thing that I'm doing here? Michael. Yes, we are starting on the bottom, all the way at the right, the 9, and we're going to multiply 9 times 5. What is 9 times 5, 5th grade? Layla? 45. 45. So we're going to carry the 4. Good thing I left some space up top. And bring down our 5. Then we're going to take 9 times 6. What is 9 times 6? Who can tell me? Will? 54 plus 4. 4 would be 58. Carry our 5. Bring down the 8. You should be doing this in your notebook along with me. 9 times 3 then is 27 plus 5 would be 32. And then I'm going to go up here and cross, off the, cross out the numbers I carried. Or you can erase them if you wanted to. It's just, I like to cross it out. That way, if I were to make a mistake, I can go back and see what numbers I carried. That's why I prefer to just cross them out instead of erase them. Then what do I add before I move on to the four? A uh, placeholder zero. Nice. Okay. What's four times five? 20. Carry the two. I'm going to make that bold since it's kind of going into my practice title. Bring down the zero. What's four times six? 24 plus the two would be 26. Again, carry the two, make it bold. Bring down the six. What is four times three? 12. Plus two? 14. 14. What do we call these two numbers down here? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Zoe? Partial products. Nice. And we add them. 5 plus 0 is? 5. Eight. 8 plus 0 is? Eight. 2 plus 6 is? Eight. 4 plus 3 is? Eight. 7. And we bring down our 1. So our total then would be 17,885. And I'm going to circle that since that's my final answer. Let's see. And then we're going to do this one together, and then you guys will be able to do the next three on your own. Capiche? All right. So, again, we are starting down here at this four. Four times seven. What is that, fifth grade? 28. 28. So we carry our two. Bring down our eight. Four times four is 16 plus two is eight. 18, yep. Carry our 1. Bring down our 8. 4 times 6 is? 24. 24 plus 1 is? 25. Cross out the two numbers that I just carried. What do I put before I move on to the 5? A placeholder 0. All right. 5 times 7 is? 35. I'd like some more people to be answering, too, as we go. What's 5 times 4? 20. 20 plus 3 is? 23. 23, nice. What's 5 times 6? 30. 30 plus 2 is? 32. Are we done? No. No. There's still one more. So, again, cross out the two numbers that I carried. 
Now, what do I need to add before I start with the two? What do I need to add, Allison? Why do I need to add two? Yeah, exactly, because I'm now in the hundreds place. So you guys, when you're moving over to the left, you want to add enough zeros to where, where you're starting is right below the number you're multiplying. So here, when we multiplied with the five, I added one zero here so that I was starting below the five. Well, now we want to start below the two, so I need to add two zeros because now we're in the hundreds place that's not a two that's 200. all right two times seven is 14. carry our one bring down our four two times four is eight plus one is nine two times six is twelve do you guys notice how I made sure I was lining up my numbers as I went? Mm -hmm. When you have larger numbers on the bottom, if you are like squishing your numbers too far together or you are um, not spacing them out enough, you could lose track of what place they're in. So you want to make sure you're lining them up as you go. And then we add 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 5 plus 0 is 13. So I'm going to carry the 1. Bring down the three. Five plus three is eight plus four is 12 plus one is 13. Carry the one, bring down the three. Two plus two is plus nine is plus one is 14. Nice job, guys. Yes, please. Three plus two is plus one is six and then we bring down our one so then we add our zero we go three digits in we get one hundred sixty four thousand three hundred thirty eight that's a larger number than we're used to dealing with okay what i'd like you guys to do now is you are going to solve number one two and three on your own when you are done put a thumbs up on your desk if you notice your partner has their thumbs up, I want you guys to compare answers. Capiche? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so let's look at number one, two, and three together. There, is that a little easier to see? I don't know why it's so dark up there for you guys. On my screen, it's okay. Okay, so number one, 134 times 11. We start down at the right with our one. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. Then, because we're moving over to this one, we're adding a placeholder 0. So where we start lines up with the number we're multiplying. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 1 times 1 is 1. And then we add our partial product. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then we bring down our 1. So for number 1, you should have gotten 1,474. Now number 2. 7 times 6. What is that, 5th grade? 42. 42. So I would carry my 4. Bring down, that's not a great four. There we go. Bring down my two. Seven times zero is? Plus four is? Four. Seven times two is? Fourteen. Seven times one? Plus one? Eight. And I cross out the numbers I carried. Add my placeholder zero. All right, 7 times 6 is 42. 42. So again, carry the 4, bring down the 2. 7 times 0, zero. plus the 4, four. four. 7 times 2, 14. 14. Carry the 1, bring down the 4. 7 times 1, one. plus the 1, eight. 8. Add our partial products. 2 and 0 is 2, 4, 5, 6. 4 and 4 is 8. 
8 and 4 is 12. So I'm going to carry my 1, bring down my 2. 8 plus 1 is 9. So you should have wound up with 92,862. All right, then we have number 3. So 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is? Carry our 1, bring down the 0. 2 times 6 is? Plus 1, 13. Cross out the 1 I carried. Add my placeholder 0. 2 times 0? Zero? 0. 2 times 5? 10. Carry the 1, bring down the 0. 2 times 6? Plus 1, 13. And we add our partial products. We get 0, 0, 3, 4, 1. 14,300. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You shift it. You're totally right. Okay. You are going to open up in your math workbook so that we can circle your homework for tonight. So quickly open up. We are opening up to page 141 in your workbook. 141 in your math workbook. So your book should be away. 141 in our workbook. All right, here are the numbers you circle. We'll be circling. Number. So 141. Number six. Number nine. Number 11. Philip, you should be circling. Number 13. And then number 17. So I will say it one more time. Number six, number nine, number 11, number 13, and number 17. Nice job.